What you smoking on? Bitch, what you smoking on? What you smoking on? Bitch, what you smoking on? I get so What is going on, Team Chronic? This is TC Dreams, and this is our first look at Gears of War Judgment. This is actually Team Chronic's first um, match with everyone in it and everyone that had the game. Mine uh, came pretty late. I ordered it from Amazon so I could get this young Dom skin, and I guess it's sort of worth it. It wasn't worth it while I was sitting there for four hours listening to everyone play the game and everything, but... Uh, so this match, it's on Gondola, and we're playing Team Deathmatch because the game shipped with like four game modes, so it's a little disappointing. Supposedly Execution's gonna be coming back as I get killed by a frag there. Uh, for those who haven't played this game yet, or are still waiting to see if they wanna, you know, buy it, if it's gonna be that, you know, typical, classic Gears experience, it's going to be a lot different, because throwing frags is like throwing frags in Call of Duty and Halo, and anyone who's been following the Gears Judgment news, it's not really news to them. But you'll see in this match um, that it it's definitely a big part of the game and how fast you can throw frags. I'm on this right now with uh, TC Clouds, Ethy, uh, TC Hurricane, and uh, Mr. Bigger. I got a double kill on that, right? Real quick. It's so nice, so we'll see, I guess. <laughs> but uh, that's pretty much the team I have right now, and like I said, Mr. Figure is right there, so it, it is mostly a TC live. But the point, obviously, to Team Deathmatch, as I get a headshot there, is to get to the 50 points. It's not like the other uh, the other gears. I think it was actually only in Gears 3. I'm not sure if 2 had Deathmatch, but those ones had live respawns. These ones are first to 50. So, it, I mean, it's exactly like Halo, pretty much, and I don't know, I think it was... Someone made the comment that it's like Halo because it's pretty much red versus blue because there's no locusts in multiplayer. If you've noticed this already, you're fighting cog on cog, and the way you differentiate is red versus blue, so... It is a lot, um, the way I just described it, like Halo, but... Um, my first impressions of this game is that it's uh, different, but it's still... Got a little bit of that Gears ingenuity into it, so it's enough to keep you interested if you like the series enough, if you want to give it a try. Uh, there's still a lot of a lot of weird things in it that I don't really particularly like, and it's, it might have to do with hit detection. It might just be the way the game is. Um, but when you go up to someone and shock at them, uh, like body them, it doesn't really work out too well. Uh, a lot of times you will not get the kill or you'll get blasted away yourself uh, or two-pieced because in this game two-piecing is just ridiculous it's actually it is even smoother in this game to two-piece someone than it was in the original Gears of War when that first came out so yeah it's a little bit of an issue as I get bodied this game uh, it ends up getting down to the wire and actually as someone had the scorcher that was clouds right there uh, he uh, was using the Scorcher, and that is a very powerful weapon in this game. It is even, it is even quicker to down somebody with a Scorcher in this than in Gears 3. So I don't really know what they're gonna do with that, if they're gonna patch it or not. But don't ignore the Scorcher if you see it. Uh, you don't even have to aim with it. It's just like how you would normally use it. It's just the down. It's, it's, the downs are a lot quicker, and as I just corrected myself mid-sentence, there's no downs in this game, so the kills are a lot quicker. The only downs in this game are in the mode Overrun, which played a little bit of it last night, and it's, uh, yeah, it's alright, it's not that, I didn't think it was that great. It's probably a lot better uh, when you're playing against normal skilled opponents and not fat asses or maybe bots even, so I don't really know what to think of that game mode yet. It's, it's interesting, but for those who don't know, it's pretty much, you get to play as either Cog or Locust, and Locusts have to basically um, free up an E-hole, I guess, and Cog has to defend it, defend like a cap on it. So I was able to body someone there, I'm going to try to get this kid, but I don't think it's... Well, it is going to work. I, I forget what happens in this game. I, we were playing all night, and I, if you can hear it in my voice, I'm like halfway groggy still. Like, it's only 10 in the morning, which isn't that early, but for me, uh, it was up to like 3 or 4, so. This game, uh, 
what else there is to say about it. I mean, there's I, there's a lot of good things about this game. The customization's back with the weapon skins uh, as I get marked. So, you can still customize some things, and they give you prize boxes at the end of matches, which give you skins, but it, it's really not that... Um, that's the word I'm looking for. It's really not that effective because there's not that many skins you can win. There's about like five for every gun. And even though there's like six or seven guns, um, the rest you have to all pay for. And there's about like 20 of those for each gun. So, I mean, of course. Uh, of course they're going to give you more skins to pay for rather than unlock. Like, that's just how it works. But whatever. Each skin is like 320 Microsoft points. So that's probably not going to happen unless I'm... For some reason, in a lot of wealth of Microsoft points. For some reason, um, so there's another one right there, and uh, I think someone had a breach shot near me. I wasn't quite sure. Uh, so there's a two-piece, and it doesn't kill him there. But you saw how easy it was for me to pull a shot off a of melee, and while it didn't kill him, you know, I get punched in the face for it. But and he tried to fucking teabag me. That was really cute. But still, that was. Um, that was one of the things that I was a little concerned with. And don't run this way because that's a dead end. Um, I've done that so many fucking times in this game because for some reason this map, you just your inclination is to go to the center and it's just a dead end. So just don't bother going to the center unless you're up top. You can dive down. Um, if you haven't noticed that too, it's another change in this game is the multi-level gear system where you can literally fly off rooftops and take little falling damage. So... Yeah, you get stunned a little bit when you do it, but it's really, uh, it's it's sort of ridiculous. So you'll have to look up a little bit more than usual. I personally don't, but you have to be aware of it. The breach shot, as I was talking about, as I just pass it and don't pick it up, so it's really not good enough for me to apparently commentate about it, but yet not play it. The breach shot is really just like an elephant gun. It's just a sniper with no scope. But it's a one-shot headshot, and it's like five rounds in a clip, so you can fire several shots successively. I do have a clip of me using it. Um, not to sound like I just want to talk about myself all the time, but I do have a clip of me using it as I run out of ammo there for my shotgun. Um, so I might upload that with like a first day sort of montage of what our experience was like. And this is, out of all the games we played, this was our first game and it was actually our most competitive because every game after this, we either got bots or we were trouncing teams. And it's not like we're the greatest at this game because everyone has to get used to it. It's a newer feel. It doesn't feel exactly like Gears 3 was. It's a little different. They always change something about it. Like uh, the first thing I noticed was running out of rolls is different. Uh, when you come out of a roll, it's a little bit delayed. So definitely do not roll towards somebody with a shotgun ever at all, because you will get blasted. Uh, meanwhile, I'm getting blasted here. I don't know how the hell I ended up killing that guy, but whatever. Um, the shotgun ammo, when I ran out of it, you start with eight fucking shotgun shells, which is bogus. I, I don't know why the game designers felt that was a smart move, because people who use shotguns are at a disadvantage because they don't have long range weapons so why would you give them less ammo I have no idea it makes no sense so I just I, I don't know you have to you have to pick up ammo a lot and that's the good thing about this game is they uh, made uh, ammo pickup automatic so I just run over 17 shells right there and that's easy enough to keep track of you don't have to click X if you want to pick up ammo. It just does it automatically, so that's fine. It doesn't really excuse the fact that I start with eight shotgun shells, but whatever. You run out of ammo very easily, and you have to resort to the B button, which I don't always like to do. Um, only in really rare and severe cases will I want to use it, or if I'm just really pissed off at someone who's been two-piecing me all day. Because uh, it's pretty retarded. Just like this, pretty much. I mean, it's got fucking melee off of the corner, that statue. Like, it's just ridiculous. But, you know, Clouds comes in and cleans it up, and then he gets killed. So, whatever. This game this game is so up and down. I mean, it's literally... I, I don't even know. And there I go again, running towards a dead end. Like, I'm a fucking dumbass. So, this game is close. It's tied 44-44. We're... We're really working hard in this because we're just like, alright guys, like this is our first real game, you know, there's no, we're not playing against bots, these are real people, because you'd think this game would be more populated, you wouldn't have to get into bot matches, but it actually took a while to get into this sort of thing. So everyone here is really just trying to stay alive, scrape up any kills they can, because we're literally right on the doorstep of 
you know, victory, defeat here. You know, there's clouds again. I always find myself near him for some reason. Our spawns are just whatever connected, which is fine because we usually do well. We just try to, you know, kill those kids. Instead, I get fucking killed by that breach shot that I was talking about earlier. Uh, the respawn times are non-existent. You can respawn as fast as you die. You just click A. So, um, I quickly put up the scoreboard. I'm probably gonna run back to that fucking area and yep I did it again like this is it's more frustrating going back and watching me do it than it was doing it in real time because now I just realized how mentally challenged I was not learning the fact that that's nowhere it is a dead end so we think it's a double frag kill there we have two kills left for both sides 48 all Jordan pulls off a headshot but then he gets killed here and then that's that so that was pretty much TC live and you know, the Team Chronic community's first look at this game, and overall, it's a success for us. The game itself, it's going to take some time to get used to. Is it like Gears 3? Sorta. There's a lot of changes in it, but it's still fun to play, especially if you have a full team. You play it alone, you might have fun with it, too. Anyways, guys, thanks for joining this episode of TC Live, and there'll be more to come for sure, so stick around.